Greetings everybody! My name is Ji Haju and today I'm going to be reacting to Philan's video called Dubai is an Influencer Dystopia. As someone who's born and raised in the, in the UAE, this, may be, this might be interesting, so I'll watch it. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but Every influencer known to mankind is in Dubai right now. My god, they're really fit. Did they take steroids? What's going on? I didn't get the invite. Nothing slid across my desk. No memo, no statement, no plane ticket. I'm here chilling at Filion HQ. Meanwhile, an influencer orgy is happening in Dubai right now. Huh. I've never seen Baldi Beaters here before. All right. I'm a little I'm a little jealous. I'm going to be focusing on the fitness influencers because that's my wheelhouse. That's what I'm familiar with. But I guarantee there are thousands of influencers in Dubai right now. And I just have a bunch of questions and I want to talk with you guys and get your thoughts on it because I don't know what's going on. The first one is why, right? Like it's a pretty important question. Whose idea was this? I'm picturing a bunch of Dubai elites sitting in a boardroom like, "Oh, listen guys, our influencer traffic is at an all-time low. You know, we got a global pandemic going on and we need to spice things up. We need more pictures of wooden gyms and some blue ass water. Second of all, is this being financed by an oil prince or something? I mean, who is paying for this? You have hotel fees, influencer activities, food, drink, alcohol, parties. Like, are you all just loaded? What am I doing wrong? How are you affording this? Do you all go into a room and perform like a blood muscle ritual or something? Or I think they might be sponsor and the sponsorships are all covering all the expenses for this. Or what if this wasn't sponsored by anyone and they all just DM'd each other and was like, Boys trip, yes queen, Dubai 2020. Speaking of sponsors, today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is revolutionizing the way that men are treated for hair loss. With Keeps, it's easier and more affordable than ever to get treatment for your hair loss and help you keep the hair that you already have. Keeps offers scientifically proven treatments, both over-the-counter and prescription, that help combat the symptoms of hair loss. Yeah, my my hair is always has a lot of bums. There's some buzz spots in my hair, so I'll see what Keeps has. I like Keeps because you can visit a doctor online and get a hair loss medication delivered right to your doorstep. You don't even have to leave your house. You guys are probably sitting there like, oh yeah, look at this kid with his lion's mane talking to me about hair loss. Well guys, hair loss runs in my family, okay? So I'm gonna rock the long hair while I got it. Keeps treatments are up to 90% effective at stopping and reducing further hair loss. If you're noticing that you're losing your hair, do something about it. For limited- How? the time, go to keeps.com slash filion or click the link in the description box down below to receive 50% off your first order. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring this video. Back in the day, we had the Jersey Juice Gang, the Puss Boy Platoon, and now we have the Dubai Doping Dudes. Let's take a look at some of the fitness influencer posts happening in Dubai. Let's crack some jokes. Let's have a good time. When worlds collide, feeling like I'm literally living inside my Instagram feed. Is this guy's belly button sucked in so hard? Look at it. It's sucked in so hard. Ugh. And my father always tells me, you must get six buck abs. You must get six buck abs. Oh, hey, when you're hit, the women will love you. Yep, and there we go. All these fake natties just chilling. No, I'm just kidding. They're not actually fake natties, but they are all on juice, okay? They're all sipping on that coconut juice in Dubai. <laughs> Wallahi, bro, try steroids. It'll give you big muscles. No day for gym. Gym's a waste of time. A scam. Steroids will make you look like a Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
<laughs> coconut juice? You mean coconut milk? I don't even know what juice they have in Dubai, but it, they're sipping on it. My f Some chemical poisonous form of weed. Favorite comment right here from Lubomba. A lifetime natural. Yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> the guys she tells you not to worry about. I'm more worried about this guy's belly than what any girl has to say. Ha! <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm sorry to tell you that nobody cares about your muscles except for other dudes. So, <laughs> I think you're alright. Squad! 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 Are you all the same? Why is there no diversity ever in these comments? You couldn't think of anything else to say besides squad! Room temperature IQs, man. Like, come on. Get, like, this is influencer dystopia right here. Okay, right here we got another picture from Brandon Harding. Where the wild things are. And he's just chilling with everyone's girlfriend, right? <laughs> All the fitness influencers' girlfriends that he's here in Dubai with. You got Nicole Drinkwater, that's Larry Wheels. You got Jordy Dix, that's Brandon Harding's. Sav Eden, I'm pretty sure, is the new guy on the scene. And then you got Phoebe B. Hagen. <laughs> guy on the scene. And then you got Phoebe Hagen. You know what it is? I think I'm too famous to be here. I mean, you got Phoebe Hagen pulling absolutely rookie numbers chilling in Dubai. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I well, Dubai is actually known as an influencer city. All the cool buildings look good for the gram. I just find it funny that in today's society, you can actually reduce people down to the amount of followers they have, and that's how cool they are. I don't get it, man. What was the main purpose behind this influencer exodus to Dubai? You just get muscly men playing with wooden equipment. And how long are they- the gyms are cheap here. If it's wood, it's cheap. Metal, expensive. Therefore, that's another question. Are you guys stuck in Dubai? We're kind of in the middle of a pandemic. Bro, I just don't know what you do. Actually, right now, there's very little COVID restrictions. You can go out. I've seen people go outside without a mask. Even me, when I go out without a mask, eh, I've seen so many people without mask. The mask rules only applies when you go indoors, in public places. So, we've essentially beat the pandemic. Doing Dubai all day. You're like skirting around in the desert, you're chilling by the pool. You're working out. <laughs> it's great, it's great. Holy shit, man, I've never seen so much dedication in one pick. Get out of here, okay? I'm gonna go on a little rant right quick. Since when does steroids equal dedication? Steroids is cheating. If you want to get muscles quick, use steroids. I, you don't need to go to the gym every day, just use steroids. It's the fastest way to get big buffs. I understand it takes hard work to get bodies like this, but here's the deal. Bodybuilding and this fitness influencer lifestyle is the most narcissistic thing you can do. You are choosing to live like this. You guys are choosing to live like this, to diet like this, to take this and that, to look like this. Why would I ever put you up on a pedestal and say, oh yeah, look at all that dedication. No, it's your self-destruction masked as self-growth. Oh, this prep has been so hard, guys. I've been dieting. I've been going hard on the Stairmaster. I've been putting in the work in the gym, doing those late hours, grinding all the time. Why am I ever gonna feel bad for someone that talks like that on social media? I see it all over the place in the fitness scene. You are asking people to care about the dieting, the lifting, and the lifestyle that you are living. The viewer, the people, the populi are not obligated to feel bad for you or to put you on a pedestal. Because at the end of the day, it's your decision. I don't feel bad for you. Why don't you just not do it? A classic bodybuilder, muscle model, and open bodybuilding all walk into a bar. Brandon Harding's got a little cheeky joke for us, but he didn't finish it, so I will. The bartender asks, trend shots? Anyone want to do some trend shots? There is nothing enlightening, productive, or cool about influencers chilling in Dubai. 
But looking at the pictures will make you feel jealous. It'll make anyone feel jealous and feel like their life is shit. So it's true. Social media makes you depressed. It's stupid. They're all just mooching off of each other's followings, getting bigger, getting richer, and, and this big fuck fest, okay? This is one big influencer dystopia in Dubai right now. Follow me on Twitch at Philion Live. Discord link in the description box. Sunday Sauce posted every Sunday. I guess I gotta go get a plane ticket to Dubai and just chill with all the influencers, man. Holy shit. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Hey, pulled up, fuck yeah, um, you wanna get more views, you wanna become famous, start posting shit in Dubai. Okay, you'll be famous in no time. Anyways, that's all for this reaction video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.